All right, my people. This is another one coming from lawyer. All right, onto this he says Southwest Governor will have himself to blame over Sunday. Iboho. All right, my people. The news in details. Ojo, who is also part of Sunday Igboho's legal team, warned the governors against opposing agitations for a Yoruba nation. Speaking during a Punch Online program roundtable, the lawyer said governors who failed to support self-determination would regret their action. According to him, they were scared to make their positions known on Igboho's arrest and then detention. Ola Shukpo, however, commended Governor Babajide Sonwo Olu of Lagos State for speaking on the arrest of the agitator. He said, I should commend Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwo Olu for saying something about this. Many of the governors don't know the value of the position they are holding. When people are clamoring and uh, you pretend as if you don't know, then something is wrong. A governor who defends his ears to the clamor of his people will have himself to blame. They have not come out openly. They have their fears. They are under bondage. I pity the governors. They are in chains. Speaking further, the lawyer of the embattled Yoruba Nation activist disclosed that his client is entitled to some level of protection from jamming. Ojo explained that Igbo is recognized by law to be the husband of a German citizen, Ropo, adding he has some levels of protection from jamming. All right, and then that has been said so far. Well, and the majority of people have been of the opinion that well, Chief Sunday Boho never committed any offense and then he needs to be vindicated. All right, and then onto this is med medical report orders delay Boho's bail application. All right, my people, many things have actually been said onto this and then we have no, been able to talk about a lot of things. But our prayer has been that Chief Sunday Igboho would be vindicated, would be freed in no time and then i pray and then i continue to tell or uh, advise people to continue to pray for him there is nothing prayers cannot do all right my people and then meanwhile it had been earlier reported that benes yoruba monarchs right president talon won about sunday igboho's trial well with what we have seen so far with what is going on so far, we are still surprised. Well, earlier it has been said that seven Yoruba monarchs in the Benin Republic have written to the president, Patrick Stallone, not to take sides with Nigeria in the ongoing trial of Yoruba nation activist Sunday Adeyemo Iboho. The monarch's letter was submitted on Monday to the president after his meeting with Nigeria's ambassador to Benin Republic, Lieutenant, Lieutenant General Toko Buratai. Well, according to the letter, hmm, a lot of things were said and then the letter was jointly signed by the Onikoi Abesan and Alajashe of Ajashe Land, Onimashe of uh, Imashe Land, Oniogoriege of uh, Ohori, Onilashe of Ilashe Land, Onika, Onikrek of Kreka Land from Semetam. And it was learned that a copy of the letter was submitted to the country's Minister of Interior and the senate president well meanwhile the monarchs were said to have told president talon not to take sides with nigeria it was also learned that the monarchs urged him not to allow the country to be used by nigeria to score political points well the spokesman for the array on Akakamfo of yoruba land kende adiremi said his boss gani adams had been informed of the benin republic monarch's action adiremi stated yes they called him adams this morning to give an update well he commended their actions also delegations of the oni of ife oba adeyeye 
Ogunwusi and the Olubadan of Ibadan land, Obasali Adetunji, who were in Benin Republic on Monday to observe the court proceedings, have given feedbacks to their masters. Yes, the Oni was given the feedback almost immediately, but no further action has been taken, one of his eight said. Well, one of Igboho's counsel also faulted the President Muhammad Buhari's government for attacking Igboho. Well, the lawyer said, incidentally, it is on record that General Buhari also clamored for self-determination of the Northern people in the past. It is also on record that he is advocating self-determination of Palestine. He is not opposed to those but when it comes to the yoruba nation you say unity is non-negotiable well it is everything that is non-negotiable in life you cannot force two people to remain together all right and then that has also been that on this one well majority of things are actually being said well and then with what has been gathered we could see that many people are solidly behind chief sunday Igboho. Bihafra or Igbo Monas, can you people see how Yoruba do their own thing? If you don't wake up now, you will suffer it later. Well, somebody has said that, well, the Yorubas are ready to support their own because they know the result, they know the consequences if they are not supporting theirs as it takes right now. Hmm. Well, many things are unfolding right now and uh, with the look of things, I pray that Chief Sunday Igboho survives this. And the meanwhile, paraventure, if in case hmm, this happens to be in the favor of the of the Nigerian no leaders of the country, Nigeria itself, my brother, it will be so disastrous because as far as this country is concerned, nothing has worked. Nothing has been working. And then they are now going to be like, oh, we are on top of the game. And I don't know what exactly is going on in the international community, why they cannot up to now no deal with this situation. Because I don't understand why innocent souls will be you no know, treated in this manner in Nigeria. Innocent souls will be killed on a daily basis and then nobody is saying anything about it. This is wrong, my people, this is wrong. Well, everybody, wherever you are, you have to be focused on your prayers right now. Hmm. Because as it stands, the only solution right now for Chief Sunday Igboho to be freed and vindicated is just prayers. And that has been it on this one, my people. What more can we say? Me, well, let me have your take on this. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.